नमस्कार सलाम सत्याकाल एंड वेलकम बैक टू द प्री फ्लॉप शो योर डेली अपडेट ऑफ व्हाट वाज एंड इज विल बी ऑन द कार्ड्स फॉर द नेशनल पोकर सीरीज वे प्लेयर्स ऑफ ऑल स्किल लेवल्स फ्रॉम अक्रॉस द कंट्री हैव स्टार्टेड कंपीटिंग फॉर द हंड्रेड इन नाइंटी टू मेडल्स ऑन ऑफर The debut edition of NPS is hosted on pokerbazi.com in association with its media partners Scoop Boop and reporting partner India Poker News. Aaj hai day 3. Lekin what's in store? Aaj hum janenge what happened on the virtual fells on day 2. Dekhenge who won medals and topped the leaderboards. We will showcase and analyze some of the best of day 2 and give you a preview of what awaits in day 3. and even be joined by a very special player on video call and not to forget a contest which gives away 10 golden rush tickets so let's get started but not before i call on my poker experts goindi and shri ram well i'm joined here by goindi and shri ram welcome boys welcome to the show goindi had a good day yesterday day 2 uh felt like spain didn't get that win but got some points on the board oh shri did you play Yeah, I played, and in fact, I'm going to play every day. You know, I'm going to play at least one event every day because there's so much value in the series as we keep speaking about it. But of course, you know me; I take some time to warm up. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get too far yesterday, too. Well, we get there. Well, we get there. But well, now I know how you both performed on day two. But it's time to find out what happened on day two of NPS and look at the day that was. वेल एन पी एस का डे टू यानी फोर्टीन जून पर रखे गए छः के छः टूर्नामेंट्स में बहुत वेरिएशन थे और हमें दिखा ग्रेट प्लेयर पार्टिसिपेशन एंड विदाउट एनी डिले लेट मी टेल यू हू गॉट होल्ड द मेडल्स इन डे टू पहला टूर्नामेंट था द टू लैक गारंटीड प्राइज पूल का नॉक आउट इवेंट विद अ गारंटी क्रशिंग वन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी नाइन एंट्रीज एंड अ फाइनल प्राइज पूल ऑफ ओवर फोर लैख रुपीज वेल इस इवेंट को जीता शुभम अग्रवाल ने गोल्ड मेडल के साथ और पोडियम पर उनके साथ फिनिश किया गदाधर बेहरा एंड अक्की पावर ने गाइस टेल मी मोर अबाउट दिस इवेंट एंड टेल मी द नेम्स दैट यू सी आई मीन द मेटल दैट दे आर मेड ऑफ एंड ऑफ कोर्स दे आर पोकर हिस्ट्री गोइंग दी गो फर्स्ट uh i lost track once i saw 1649 as the number i was just trying to think about these numbers i'm like where are these players coming from how big is this event and how is everyone attracted to this but then i thought to myself i'm like obviously there's so much value in it it's a no brainer uh i didn't get to play this event myself uh because of all the work and the studio um but great to see some uh, not so big names coming out of there right you know very interesting because uh that gives confidence to a lot of other people this way the game grows as well and uh with such a big field usually in tournaments Um I won't be surprised if uh, the not so big names win because you know the bigger the field uh the tougher it is to get there. Correct. Shri the knockout event, you know the importance that it holds and of course you know like what kind of leverage does it give to younger players and the newer players coming into this industry. We spoke about this yesterday. Yeah. You know this is a knockout event which means there's a bounty on everybody's head which was 150 rupees. on every player's head in this particular event also let's talk about the barrier to entry to play a poker tournament you know right. usually the buy ins are so much more and this is what we've been saying this is just a 250 rupee buy in plus 150 of course is the bounty yeah. and and see how the guarantees have been crushed yeah. again he said it some names that you've not seen before and we're going to be seeing more people and this is what we want to do yeah. with this series you know we want to see people who have not really completed you know making that transition from semi pro to pro come in and make a name for themselves well the next event tha the 1 crore guaranteed prize pool ka golden rush ka flight 1b and once again we saw a huge registration of 1677 entries and the top 3 players who made it to day 2 of the event are the conquer mivan and amp and sagar maheshwari once again an event which has you know so much value and names out there shri that we've not really seen in bigger tournaments and they're coming up now yeah it's it's a level playing field ridima when you make it so accessible and affordable for everybody whether it's an amateur semi pro or pro to get in the game this is what you're going to get and uh, poker is one game going to you know it anybody can win on any given day against anyone yeah consistency is the problem uh, you can have a lot of players coming in winning one or two tournaments uh, over their lifetime but for them to do it repeatedly over and over and over again gets really really hard and uh going by that run rate i think we're on track to reach at least 1.3 to 1.5 cr in terms of uh, total prize pool um i did contribute to that prize pool oh yes you did <laughs> well that's brilliant 
और डे टू का थर्ड एंड फीचर इवेंट था द टेन लैक गारंटी टू मेगा स्टैक इवेंट द गारंटी वॉज क्रश्ड वंस अगेन विद रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ वन थाउजेंड सेवेंटी फाइव एंट्रीज एंड द फाइनल प्राइज पूल बिकेम ट्वेंटी वन लैक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज Who came out on top? Well, Rugal Advani backed gold. Abhijit Kumar earned silver, and by coming third, Akshay Dhingra won a bronze medal as well. Your take? I think you should change the narrative of the guarantee getting crushed. Yeah, I think I think it's becoming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like it is just getting crushed. We just know that every guarantee is getting crushed, and it's getting crushed like significantly, not even like by ten or twenty percent, right? It's right. doubling up. So I'm just gonna go with the with the uh, assumption. Yeah. That it's gonna be forty percent flat, right? Right. That's my assumption. I don't know what your assumption is, but having said that, in such huge fields, like I said, I mean, it's pretty common to see a lot of new names coming up. Right. And um, I'm excited because the more people that win and the more new names that come up for me, um, the game grows. So for me, that that's what I look for. Right. Shri, I think we should just change the name of the segment from the day that was to Guarantee Crush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do that. <laughs> Yeah. Well, day two का fourth event था the ten lakh guaranteed freeze out event का flight one A. Registrations for this event closed at three hundred and twenty one entries, and the top three players who made it to day two of the event are Shravan Chhabria, thirteen Anurag, and Ashutosh Anand. Now, guys, what can we expect in the upcoming flights? Shri go first. Uh, this particular event in this flight, you see some pros coming out of uh, you know coming out of this uh, with the. chip lead you can say or you know maximum number of chips uh, shravan chabria yeah. he's been playing for more than a decade and uh, anurag as well he's both these names uh, are people we seeing on the fells on a daily basis and weekly basis in the indian poker circuit uh, you're going to see as the tournament progresses as the tournament series progresses consistency come into play people will start to understand why there are these pros who are doing better then some of the other names you know it's after all a game of skill and the skills going to come through there's more flights in this one though right. so get into it and i everybody you know in the poker world the ogs they all love a freeze out i love a freeze out get into this freeze out too well let's find out what happened in the fifth tournament of day 2 The flight 1C of the 50 lakh guaranteed kickoff event registered 516 entries, meaning a total of 1,679 entries have been seen in three days. The top three chip leaders going to day two of the event from 1C are Rajat Sharma, Siddhant Kriplani, and the Azer is back. It has been a cool kickoff event indeed, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, we told you one of the players to watch out for, Siddhant Kriplani, and. Uh, makes it right up there number 2 in ter- in stacks uh rajat sharma another well known name on the circuit uh you've seen him at close quarters what do you have to say about him uh he's played uh you know part of the team format of the poker uh, setups we have in india you know many t- uh, poker leagues that we have and he is known as mr dependable he's been there for a while experienced campaigner not just on the fells off the fells as well he's he's here looking to take down a big score home All right, looking forward. Well, the final and sixth event of day two of NPS, the five lakh guaranteed hyper sprint event, gave us three more medalists. Once again, the registration of one thousand twenty nine entries crushed the guaranteed prize pool, and the final prize pool was ten lakh twenty nine thousand rupees. Anirban Das shipped the tournament and struck gold. Siddhant Kriplani came second, and the bronze medal went to Himanshu Bagwal, who came third in the event. Well, once again, I have a question for you guys. Now, now I understand it, but well, if you could just decode what a prize pool really is. Prize pool is basically the total money in that particular event. So it comes from all the people that take part in it, and so you take the total number of entries multiplied by the buy-in, and you get the total prize pool. So if they say the total prize pool is ten lakhs, it means this ten lakhs that they're giving away to all the players that make it in the money. Well, now we know what a prize pool is. But also, Siddhant Kriplani, you know, Shri, you guys called it out yesterday. Your player to look out for. Yeah, AKA Ender, the 25-year-old who wants to win big. Second time we're talking about him today in the show. He's already taken a big stack from one of the flights of the previous event, and here he is bagging silver. You know who else we've been talking about for the second time? Anil Bandas. Not only did he make a final table yesterday, we've already seen his name up earlier on in the show, and again he's taken home a gold. But for me, you know what this format's actually very interesting about uh, is the fact that uh, it requires a lot of adjustment, you know, because it's so fast. It's the T20 of poker, 
Uh, there's so much action. You know, like how Raul Dravid, who's yeah. a really great cricketer, yeah. when he had to play T20, he had to make those adjustments so that he can play at a faster rate with clean hitting and like good cricketing strokes. Similarly, in this format, you know, you want to be playing great poker, but you got to make that adjustment. So to see these pros come out on top, I'm not surprised because they can make the adjustment a lot quicker than the recreational players. Well, adjustment is the name of the game. And with that, day two is over and 20 players got paid through the daily leaderboard. And who are our top three players? Well, here they are. Well, we've got Anirvan Das, Shobha Magarwal and Rugal Adwani. Congratulations to the three gentlemen. Congratulations indeed. Uh, three players who are taking max money out of that three lakh which we're giving out in our daily leaderboards. And totally for 15 days into three lakhs each day, that's 45 lakhs, the prize pool for the daily leaderboard. Wow, beautiful. Well, after discussing the top three players of day two, the daily leaderboard, let's get into our next segment, which is plays of the day. And this time, I understand that you guys have picked up some really interesting hands. So do what you guys do best. Analyze poker. Welcome to our analysis of the final table from the feature event of day two of the National Poker Series. The event in play is the 10 lakh guaranteed mega stack and going D, the prize pool ultimately going up to 21.5 lakhs. This is an eight max final table. Coming into the final table with the chip lead is a Smeeky Joe Jr. with 50 bigs. And the shortest stack is Siddharth Rajan. It was Mogumotu, uh, a fellow team player from the Gujarat Falcons who goes first. He had less than six big blinds in the small blind. The button opens, he looks down at King Jack, gets it in. Can't do much, didn't have the rub of the felt, and gets busted out in 8th position. Then, we saw a welcome double up for Siddharth Rajan, who, we, like we mentioned, came into this as the shoddy. Talk us through that one, Goindi. You know when you're the shoddy, and you're sitting there in the big blind, and you want to double up, and then you look down at Pocket Kings, you can't wait for someone to raise, because you're like, hey man, he's gonna raise, and I'm gonna get it in, I'm gonna double up, this is my time, this is what I've been waiting for. And then you see everybody just folding around and now it's just the big small blind in play. And you're like, please do something, please do something. And then you see that, you see that raise that you wanted. And then you're licking your lips, you go all in and then he snaps you off with ace queen. And you're like, all right, I'm in good shape. I have about 70% chance to win. Uh, you obviously want to see two undercards to the pocket kings. Uh, but, but good for Sid that uh, his kings held up against the ace queen and he found that much needed double up. There was an interesting moment in this uh, final table where we had the chip leaders, two of them, uh, Smeeky Joe Jr. who had a marginal chip lead over error 404 and they locked horns. Interesting hand played out Goindi, can you call that one out for us? Yeah, one of the two chip leaders are on the final table and they go heads up. Makes for an exhilarating time, you know, because uh, stacks are at risk, right? And there's so much money in play, the ICM pressure is on and you don't really want to be making too many mistakes and you don't want to be the second shortest stack or you don't want to be up against the chip leader ever because your tournament life is at risk. So era 404 picks up queens under the gun, opts to raise, gets flatted by the chip leader on the button. Flop runs out, 356, two diamonds. Error 404 opting to check, sneaky, opting to bet, error continues with the call. The turn brings out a 10, it goes check check. The river brings out an eight. Error now leads out with a value bet and sneaky calls him off. Not happy to see the pocket queens, mucks his hand, and error 404 doesn't make any error there and picks, up, and picks up the pot. That check by error 404 shows me that he's very well aware of what's happening, the different stacks, the, diff the ICM implications, because he was trying not to blow up the pot. He was the shorter stack out of the two and his life was at risk. And if he busts there, he's gonna be making an ICM disaster. So the fact that he knew how to control the pot at that particular moment, showing me that his name should not be error 404. Right, great, great play by Error 404 in that spot. Moving on to the next bust out, player leaving us in seventh. Poker lover loved his pocket sixes under the gun with a sub 12 big blind stack. Unfortunately for him, brutal game picked up pocket tens and uh, for the poker lover, he just had to figure out that poker is after all a brutal game. The sixes couldn't do much against the tens and that was that for him. game on this FT. A brutal game was involved in a lot of action Goindi. There was one spot where he picked up pocket jacks and uh, went on to double up F Society. Yeah, F Society picking up pocket kings. Brutal game just opens, F Society flats the button, flop runs out king high, 
Pukki came off to check his jacks. I don't mind that to be honest. But F Society decides to bet, but Brutal Game decides to check raise with those stacks. Not my favorite play at all. I'm almost never check raising to that size. You're pretty much committing yourself to the spot, and uh, you rather check jam if you really want to check a uh, check raise in that particular spot. Uh, however, I just prefer a check call or a C bet for most part. Uh, I just don't like the way Brutal Game played this hand post flop, and he ends up doubling F Society. Yeah, ends up doubling F Society and also losing a big part of his stack. Sixth place finisher, Malchahi, uh, went for the three bet squeeze in a particular spot. Uh, take us through that one, please. Hi Jack, the chip leader opens small blind calls and uh, Malchahi thought Ace Ten was a good squeeze from the big blind. Ops to squeeze, squeeze gone wrong because uh, Smeeky picks up Ace Jack and uh, holds. It's a squeeze gone wrong, gives Smeeky the big lead and Malchahi busts out. Right, Malchahi, sixth place finisher, and then. Fifth place to bow out next was brutal game indeed. After all, pretty standard spot you'd say. The fifth place finisher, after being involved in a lot of action in this on this FT, was brutal game and pretty standard spot you'd say, Goindi. Yeah, error four zero four opening and brutal game has a short stack, puts it in with ace jack. Can't do much, runs into aces, doesn't win, and that's how life moves on. The medal bubble on this final table, uh, Siddharth Rajan, and what what an interesting spot, right? We already have so many bubbles in poker, and now there's a medal bubble too. Yeah, we got the FT bubble, we got the money bubble, now we have a medal bubble. I wonder if strategies start to change because around the bubble, strategies start to change. This is a different bubble, it's a unique bubble. No one's ever seen this across the globe, right? You know, so I wonder if the strategy is going to change. However, in this particular bust out hand. Whatever your strategy was, <laughs> you were going. It was a yeah. sick, sick cooler indeed. Just talk us through that one if possible. Yeah, the button opens and uh, you pick up pocket queens in the big blind. Great hand for you to 3-bet. You 3-bet, button flats, flop runs out jack high. With that SPR, stacks are pretty much going in. Just queens versus aces, can't do much in that particular spot. You miss out on the bronze and that actually puts F Society straight into the top three and puts him in the medals tally. Right, after the medal bubble, once that was broken, uh, we see that Smeeky Joe Jr. has a commanding chip lead. Third place finisher in this one, taking home the bronze medal, Goindy, F Society. Let's talk about his bust out. Standard spot, you have King-9 suited on the button, less than 10 big blinds, it's going in three-way. Decides to jam, I would jam too. And again, Smeeky Joe picking up a hand. How many hands has he picked up on the final table? And uh, King-9 doesn't hold up, F Society has to walk home with the bronze. Right, F Society, very, very well done to get that bronze apart from winning the prize for coming in third. Down to heads up between Error 404 and Smeeky Joe Jr. Error 404 giving, giving away a huge chip lead. One is to seven to uh, Smeeky Joe Jr. and probably one of the shortest heads up battles from the day. I'm pretty sure it's shortest heads up battle globally ever to have been played. <laughs> Took one hand. <laughs> and uh, Error 404 gets it in with King Queen versus uh, Smeeky Joe's ace four and doesn't hit. Ace four wins and we have a new gold medalist in Smeeky Joe, but error 404 takes on the silver and that's how the day concluded. In a few lines, Koindi, if you'd had to summarize uh, all the action we witnessed on that final table, what would it be? Pretty standard action on a final table, to be honest. Nobody making any real disasters, uh, nobody making any really bad plays. One, real, one play uh, stood out for me which I really didn't like was the play of Brutal Game against F Society with the pocket jacks hand. But that happens, you know, in any sport, uh, including poker, you make a few mistakes and uh, it's just the nature of how the game is and nature of how humans play. And, um, but what, what actually stood out for me was Smeeky entered with a chip lead, he held on to it, saw it through, came out with that gold medal. You know, so for, to enter with a chip lead and come out with that gold medal, hats off to Smeeky. Right, well said indeed. And that was it. That was the final table action from the feature event of day two of the NPS, the Mega Stack 10 Lakh Guaranteed. Uh, we'll always be bringing you more analysis from many final tables as we progress along in this National Poker Series. So stay locked in, guys.
Let's give Ridhima a break and make it an all boys segment because we have a guest coming on. All right, let's do this. And the guest we have for you, viewers, is none other than the winner of the end boss, which was brought to you by Poker Bazi, and it was the biggest ever poker tournament ever, ever, ever to be held here. It had a five crore guaranteed prize pool, and Abhishek Maheshwari is the person who won that. He took home how much coin? One CR Indian rupees. All right, so Abhishek Maheshwari is going to be joining us via video call on this pre-flop show right now, all the way from Pune. Welcome to the show, Abhishek. And uh, we're going to keep it really casual in this interview. Get a few thoughts from you on how's life and how's poker. But before we speak about Abhishek Maheshwari, the poker player, let's hear about what you are as a person outside of the poker fields. Uh, I'm a very chill guy. I like to travel a lot, and uh, the main, uh, the important thing for me is to enjoy life as much as I can. Like I try to uh, do as much adventure as I can, and just you know, I don't like to sit at home a lot. Abhishek, tell us this: your story of how you started to get to know about the end boss. And then finally, I believe you played a satellite to get into the main event, and then going on to ship it. Can you just summarize that journey for us that you had to win the end boss? So when I was playing the end boss, I had never thought that I would uh, win it, and uh, just it started just with the satellite. Okay, that's a good tournament. If you uh, deposit five thousand rupees, you get a free ticket to a satellite. Uh, from winning that satellite to winning the end boss, it was just a dream come true i mean it it still is very hard to believe what had happened and how life has totally changed uh, after that so yeah i'm really enjoying this process um i remember when i spoke to you last time around when you were the end boss winner you said you were more of a recreational player or a semi pro rather you know uh have you completely moved to becoming a professional or what is your what is the transition been and uh, what is the biggest learning been after you've got that victory Yeah, so the learning process had never stopped. I still uh, keep on improving, and I still uh, keep on learning new things every day. Uh, and uh, I, I would say I, I'm still a recreational player. I have not turned a pro yet uh, because I have to balance between my business and poker, which is uh, getting really difficult because the tournament day sometimes ends at five o'clock in the morning. And then nine nine thirty, you have to wake up and go to the factory. So it is uh, pretty consuming. But yeah, I'm enjoying uh, because poker is my passion. So uh, I have no regrets. Like I can manage both. All right, Abhishek. What about the national poker series that just kicked off right now? What do you think about this particular tournament series, and uh, how much of a uh, participation are you going to have in this one? So well, I'm going to be playing each and every tournament. Uh, I have uh, already managed the stocks and everything in my factory, and uh, so I've decided to play all the tournaments. Yesterday also I cashed in in two tournaments, and so hopefully this NPS uh, I hope to win a few gold medals. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. And it's a no-brainer, like you said. You've managed your stocks. That means you've actually planned out your entire business around this NPS. You know, for someone who said yeah, that he's a recreational so player. Yeah, I was so excited for this NPS because I shot a promotional video also. So I wanted to show, okay, okay, this time I'm going to show that I'm not only a recreational player and I've actually improved my game so much that eventually I show them that I win a gold medal. I like that fact because you're you, you're trying to prove to everybody that you're not a flash in the pan, and I like that I like that hunger, I like that drive, and uh, you know I'm a I'm a big fan of the name, so I'm gonna be out there supporting <laughs> you, <laughs> and uh, I really wish you a little more leaderboard points. I really wish you become uh, the second gold medalist after me. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding, jokes apart. Uh, you will be playing way more tournaments than the both of us because we are out here. Um, just trying but, to. But this is good. Like they are keeping you busy. You you're shooting all these videos and all. And I think it's good for us. No, like <laughs> uh, you won't be. I won't be seeing you at the fells more often. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's super, super exciting. One last question for you, Abhishek. I know you're gonna have a yeah. gruel. You know, grinding out the NPS series. You've got lots to do over the next uh, next few weeks. One last question we have for you is: Is there any message 
you would like to give out to anyone who aspires to play poker or to someone who's already playing poker right now? Okay, one message would be, I mean, just enjoy the game. Okay, it's a very fun game. Okay, enjoy it, but do learn it. Just, you know, go through that process. If you go through that process, in the long run, you will be profitable. All right, great to have a chat with you, Abhishek. And good luck to you in this National Poker Series and in the future. And I'm sure we'll be hearing more about you as this series goes along. Good luck, bro. Good luck to you too, brother. Okay. Bye bye. Take care. Take care. See you. You know, I've always met him uh, online, and uh, it's been an absolute pleasure once again to meet him. But apart from Abhishek Maheshwari, who are your other players to look out for today, Shriram? Well, today, right off the bat, I got. Mr. Enigma. Enigma is his online moniker. My matcha from Chennai, Gokul Raj, a lovely, lovely person. I got to know him uh, some time back. We've hung out a couple of times. And, uh, you know, he, he says this one thing over and over again. He says it's not easy to be a poker professional, provided you are disciplined. You know, he says discipline, discipline, discipline. And I agree with him. He just keeps it simple. He says be disciplined. Very good poker player. <laughs> If you study the game, you will learn like for your whole life. Being a professional in this game, it looks very easy seeing it from outside, but it's a tough job. For me personally, winning NPS, it's all about like a small pride, you know, that feather in your, in your cap, winning that trophy. It's like, it'll be very nice to me winning that NPS title. Hi guys, I'm Gokul Raj. I'm a professional poker player from Chennai. Let's see you guys at the table and NPS. National Poker Series. Well, enough about my pick, Goindi. Who's your pick to look out for today? Um, I'm going to go with the X chromosome, Nihari Kabindra. All right. A high stakes cash game reg, uh, has some experience in the tournament field as well. And if you watched her video, she said she's up for any challenge. And knowing her personally, I know she's up for any challenge. And her name is Nutcracker33. Uh, says a lot about what she's made of, right? There was no doubt in my mind that poker was the one that I wanted to pursue. So I do what I want, I go where I want and I win when I want. Back in the day when I walked into a poker room where there were like 150 boys and maybe like two girls in the corner, I would definitely feel a little conscious and awkward maybe. That is something that the girls who are trying to get into this game need to get over, like all of us have. And now 15 years later when I walk into the room, I know most of them, so they're literally my buddies. So don't, don't feel like because it's a, it's a boy's sport that uh, you can't win at it. You can definitely do better. National Poker Series don't be surprised to see her top that leaderboard today and uh, keep a close eye for Niharika Bindra. Agree with you, Niharika Bindra, always, always a tough nut to crack. Uh, speaking about the X chromosome, where's the other lady who was with us? Should we call Ridhima back? I think we should yeah. because I have a feeling we can move into a quiz and uh, why not? Call her back so that I can go up 3-0. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal, man. Yeah. Oh, thank God she's back. Yeah. Well, it, you, you guys better be prepared because, you know, I am back with some questions again. It's playtime. Uh, yeah, you, uh, I'm sure she's going to give yeah, you that reaction you're gonna because ask. he just never wins. You know what the score is, right? Yeah, two? it's 2-0. Two Shri, are you going to win this time? you got to win this time. You have to I'm win I'm thinking I'll start making a comeback from 10-0 down. <laughs> well, then you'll already lose because you have only 50 days. Oh, <laughs> 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 Alright, so here's your chance. Are you all set to redeem yourself? Um, uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. You know, the, the only thing is, you have to be unbiased in deciding if it goes to a tiebreaker, who hits the buzzer first. That's just give it to him today. So you just have to have better reflexes. Oh, okay. Fair. Yeah? Fair. All right. Okay. So here's the question. Mm. All right. All the best to you as well. All right. Oh, but all the best to you. It's just like, yeah, you lost anyway, but all the best. <laughs> yeah. All right. The very first question is, who is known as the self-proclaimed brat of poker? This Shri. one's for me? Yeah. Okay. This is Phil Helmuth. 
uh, one of the OGs, one of the most winning players ever in the history of poker. I'm off to a nice start. Let's keep this going. <laughs> okay then. All right. He's off to a good start for you. Uh, Goindi, who is at the top of the all-time poker money list? Um, Bryn Kenny. Oh, well, it's Bryn one Kenny. all. Well done. This man's sharp, all no, right. Showing up, showing up. Mm, next okay. question, next question for you, Shri. Yep. The question is, since we just spoke about him, how much did India's biggest tournament winner ever, Abhishek Maheshwari, win? He won one crore. Yeah. And both Goindi and myself, we saw him winning it. We were doing commentary for that final table. What an event it was. Beautiful. All right. So this is, well, he's got the lead right now. He's got... Uh, just let him keep it. Give him the... Tro uh, give him the I was going to say trophy. That's not happening. But just give him the give him the points. Let him get off the staff. You want him to win this time, is it? Uh, no, he's going to be like North Macedonia. He's going to lose 3-1 to Austria. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He has a chance. All right. What is the total prize pool of the National Poker Series? I'm going to take my time. Take, take one. All right, I'll move on. Can I phone a friend? <laughs> I'll move on. I'll move on. If you're taking time, I'll move on. <laughs> Tell me. It's the most obvious thing everybody knows. It's all over the place. 15 CR. Correct. Correct. It is 15 CR. So, well, we've got two points each. Last question, which is the tiebreaker. So, we know, right? You got to, like, whoever. I want two tiebreakers in a row. Yeah. And just going by probability. So then let's my, let's so then, then the buzzer this time. <laughs> so the buzzer this time is a noise like ah. All right. Okay. So whoever makes this noise first answers this question. Ah. All right. That's okay. all you have to do. Okay. Okay. So you guys ready? All right. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The question is, what's the matchup percentage of pockets versus suited over card? Ah, ah. He got it. He got it. My life be like, ooh, <laughs> ah. And the answer ooh. is? The answer is it's 50-50. Okay, so basically, uh, this is something, it's an interesting question because you'll come across this situation when you're playing poker. Let's say you have a hand like 8-9 suited and your opponent has pocket 7s. You know, you look at it and you're like, oh man, he's got me or she's got me. But the chances of either of you winning is the same. It's 50-50 irrespective of the amount of money involved, may I add. Like they say, task ka boss. Task ka boss and bhai sahab, aaj ke is particular segment ke boss sahab, Rikle, congratulations. You have arrived. Yeah. Shri, you've arrived in the scene. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, well, I told you, you're late on the alun, I'm late as tata maru. I've got no idea what that meant, but having said that, congratulations. Here we have a winner. She's the winner of Playtime as well. Now it's your turn to take part in the contest for the day. But before I give you today's question, time to give you the answer to yesterday's question and announce the winners. Well, I asked you, how many flights does the NPS Golden Rush have? Well, the correct answer is 15 flights. And the winners Well, congratulations to all of you and best of luck for the flight 1C of the 1 crore guaranteed Golden Rush event. Your tickets have been credited to your accounts. Well, now it's time for today's contest question. And the question is all about golden destinations. And the question is, which city will the winners of the National Poker Series visit to participate in an international poker tournament? And if you know the correct answer, then do give it a try because 10 lucky winners will win tickets to the Flight 1D so that they can take their shot at the 1 crore guaranteed golden rush. Now, don't forget that, that this contest is only valid on our Instagram handle. Or as contest may participate karne ke liye, follow our Insta handle, National Focus Series on Instagram and comment with your answer. And don't forget to mention your Poker Bazi username in your comment. All the best. Well, with that update, let's shift gears to our next segment, that's Vegas Watch. Well, day two ke baad hi, the chase to find India's first gold medalist ban chuki hai kafi intense. So let's take a look at the current standings. And let's start with the NPS podium. Well, aapko yaad hi hoga ki NPS podium ke top three players India ko represent karenge Las Vegas mein. Lekin hamari mushkilin bohat bada chuki hai kyunki top position pe hi, there are six players tied up. That's right. And who are these six players? Well, here they are. Well, we've got Anirban Das, Shubham Agarwal, Rugal Advani, Samir Tavanandi, 
Anant Purohit and damage is causing some serious damage as his ID suggests. Well, NPS podium is no mystery ki koi tamhi nahi hai. Lekin the series leaderboard is also very exciting. Though the prize pool is of 35 lakh, or is what top par hai? Well, we've got Anirban Das with 2,687 points, followed by Shubham Agarwal with 1,999 points, and on third position, we've got Samir Tavanandi with 1,779 points. Well, the competition is getting tougher with every passing day. So, अब आपको पता चल चुका है कौन कौन से players ने इस race में कितने कदम आगे बढ़ाए हैं। अब देखते हैं कि आज कौन से कौन से tournaments खेले जाएंगे। Well, guys, tell me the six tournaments that we have today. What do you make of it? Let's start with uh, the one starting at 4 p.m. It's the two lakh guaranteed sprint, which is a six max event. A six max event basically means in this tournament. In across any table in the tournament, at any given point, there can be no more than six players. Okay. Most of the tournaments that you'll see uh, online are either eight or nine-handed, but this one's a six max. And again, the buy-in for this one is just four hundred and forty rupees, which means it's really inclusive. You'll see a lot of people who are amateurs, recreational, semi-pro, and pros, of course, are anyway going to be playing. So what's next, Goindi? Five thirty p.m. The Golden Rush. And the run rate that we're going at, we're gonna definitely hit 1.2, 1.3 CR, and uh, I'm gonna speed that up. I'm gonna be contributing to that prize pool today. <laughs> of course you are. Of course you are. <laughs> fifteen flights in that one, yeah. and uh, we're gonna be playing a minimum of fifteen flights, I think. Yeah. 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 All right. So what's next now? Uh, next up is an event that I think you really like, Goindi. It's the PLO Deep Dive Three Lakh Guaranteed One. It's got a buy-in of thousand one hundred. I know you like to play PLO. Are you going to be contributing to this one as well? Uh yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> But how, uh, <laughs> how do you find so much time? That's See? why I'm contributing yeah, <laughs> because if I had the time to play the entire thing, um I would go the distance. Uh because I do not have as much time. I know I'm going to be in there. I don't know how focused I'm going to be. It's not a good thing. I shouldn't be saying this. But I'm gonna be trying my best uh, to contribute and then take it all back as well. Right. You know. But uh, we all know who's making the most money on this panel for sure. Shri. Yeah, poker bazi. <laughs> 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 all right. So what's up next? Next up at 8 p.m. we have the second and the final flight of the freeze out event, the first flight which was yesterday. And uh, just another stat for y'all. We're doing a lot of stats, but these are stats that make your mouth water. Yesterday itself, in that first flight of the freeze out. We already have touched the eight lakh mark for the prize pool, wow. and this is a ten lakh guaranteed prize pool. So you know what's up in this one. More money to be made, and again, you'll see a lot of pros in this one. All right, perfect. Go in the take of the next event. Um, the next event that we got is the kickoff. Fifty lakh guaranteed. It's the final flight. We got one D, two thousand seven fifty rupee buy-in. Uh, expect the pros to be there. Don't expect me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me yeah. interject. Yeah. I'm going to be there Ooh. for this final flight because you know, later on dalo, latest hour no. Now I know what that means also. All right, last tournament of the day. Last tournament of the day is another deep dive event. It's a hold'em deep dive event. Eight lakh guaranteed. Starts at 9:30 p.m. The buy-in is 1,650 rupees. So much value yet again. No, it's usually the contributions also. Oh the, yeah, <laughs> they usually say itna paisa me itna ich milega, but in this one itna paicha me itna milega. Correct. And, and we can say this about all the Tonys That's in true. this particular series, you know. And it's not like we're just saying it because we're predicting something. It's happening. Yeah, it's happened so far, and it's. Going to continue to happen, and that's why Ridhima, it's an interesting point you make. You keep asking us if we're going to play and which ones we are playing. We want to play everything, yeah, and we end up playing most things. Yeah, so that's why the numbers are going up. Well, that sums up all the tournaments waiting to be played in the NPS today, starting right off now. The National Poker Series is being hosted by PokerBazi.com in association with media partner Scoop Whoop, and of course our exclusive reporting partner India Poker News. So what are we waiting for? Let's kick start the day. So are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Get set. Gold. Yeah. This game involves an element of financial risk and may be addictive. Please play responsibly and at your own risk.